Previously on Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Isn't this different from usual? It's inverted. Oh, no. What do we do? <laughs> That's not what good. What can we do? We can't stop now. Oh god, glitter! And now back to kicking monkey ass. I hear a voice. It's a woman's voice. Is this familiar to me? This voice is Margaret, probably. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Hey, what's up, Margaret? Don't sense that distinctive floating feeling that I usually have when I enter the TV world. Constantly, I realize I must be sitting in a chair. I think she's actually a character you can get in this game, too. You can uh, play as her, uh, as a fighting character. Um, I don't know if it's going to be downloadable content. I, I didn't see any DLC for her, so... Or if it's something you unlock in-game. The moment I open my eyes, I see vibrant blue, the velvet room. This is this place an untold number of times last year, and one more, once more in my dreams yesterday. I'm guessing Marie. Does Marie? Will Marie sure show up in this game? I don't know if. I don't know if she will actually, because I don't. I'm, I'm not really sure what came first. Did Persona 4 Arena come first, or did Persona 4 Golden come first? Marie is actually in this game. I I, I got her. Oh, we. By the way, guys, I got the the, the free DLC. The there, there was DLC that's free for just this week. It was out, and I got it all. So we're we're good. Don't worry. So I got Marie, and I got Adachi. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. She she might not appear in this one. I never thought I would return to this huh? place. It's not a dream this time? What's going on? Didn't my contract end already? Yeah. You know, her usually says front and center is nowhere to be seen. The one to greet me is the one with silver hair, Margaret. Could this be a personal summoning then? Oh, damn. You want to finish that make ass fish we had last time? It's like, oh, yeah, baby. Mm. That, happened, that happened a few times last year, too. Margaret smiles as she senses my suspicion. This room is tied to your fate. Nothing that occurs here is meaningless. Though you reached an end to one journey, you now find yourself here again. This shows that you will once again be faced with a question. A question? And something really is going on? Another mystery has appeared, and we are about to be dragged into it again. Could that be what she means? From here on, what befalls you will upset your status quo. It is true that you've opened the door once already. But all things change. Nothing ever remains the same. Damn it, you lie to me. You people lie to me. You said that she was done. What you gained before will change over time as well. You will have to face them once again. Face them? Again? First thing Margaret's words stir up in my mind is the sight of my friend's smiling faces. Is that gonna change? No, that can't be true. Face them again? That's impossible. Once I wake up and leave this room, I should still be with my friends. So I need to jump to conclusions. How the fuck did I get in here anyway? Margaret appears to have anticipated my thoughts and smiles while nearing her mind. Show me eyes. how you will proceed down the path that awaits beyond the door you've opened. Here's to see exactly how I'm supposed to be, like, coaxed into fighting my friends. Or, like, how we don't kill each other. <laughs> my vision wavers and the blue light before me vanishes quickly. Wait. So you know what you mean by those words? No! <laughs> Stupid fakeness. You people never change. Oh, good. My bookmark. You never caught me. Don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. Whoa. Music room. Where am I? Alright, this looks kind of different. What the f <laughs> Look at all the pictures on the wall. Their eyes are all, like, white. <laughs> hey, Bach. Mozart. You got all, like, fucking... Like, demons. Hey! Where did I get thrown... Where did I get thrown to when I left that blue room? Seriously, so expected that I'm at a loss. This is school. The music room of Yasugami High. I attended the school with my friends until recently. There's no mistaking it. We're in the TV together, so why am I here? No, that's not this right. is... No, wait. This has to be the TV world. Yeah, it's like a fucked up version of... It's like a fucked up version of Yasugami? Is that what it is? The graffiti on the wall. Shoes, pl shoes placed like... They're from... They're for some kind of ritual. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little demon circle around the piano. The early shining eyes of the portraits on the wall. The creepier I look, the more I realize that this place is not the real Yasugami High. Most of all, I sense no warmth in this place, like I always did from the students who would come and go from here. This is a fake. Definitely not a school I attended. Where the hell's a Yane? Playing her funny little, playing her little trumpet, trying or uh, oh, playing her trombone. That's right. What happened to turn, turn the world inside the TV to this? On top of that, we entered the TV from our usual entrance, but I ended up in a completely different place. I'm supposed to sort of, it, the world changes based on who's in here, right? So I guess because we're in here. This has never happened before. 
I also realize that my friends aren't with me either. Did we somehow get separated? I just realized there are pictures of Teddy on the wall. Teddy, what are you doing? And he's got a cigar, I think. So I feel chills in my spine. Look around. Ah! Hello, sorry for the wait. Oh. Hey, Reese. Greetings, boys and girls of Yasugami. The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin. <laughs> uh, what? There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. What the? Oh. Hey, I get choices. Say, you say a P1 Grand Prix. She had questions, but she doesn't answer. It's Risa Kijikawa, one of our friends on the association team that we couldn't contact. Does she not hear me, or she chooses not to respond? <laughs> Risa, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, don't, don't tell me you turned evil or something, too. So I ask myself this, I hear different voices echoing as well. Look around in surprise. Voices, well, not just from one or two people. Since count, I see countless students staring at me from the hallway entrances. Huh? For a turn. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? I, Reset, will be your commentator. But first, the general has a few words for you all. What's going on? There's so many people inside the TV world. We're going to be any answers. Reese makes another announcement. And as if on cue, the monitor in the music room turns on. What appear on it was fucking Teddy. Wearing a strange hat and cape, just like he did in the Midnight Channel last night. First reason now, Teddy. What are they doing? What are you idiots doing? <laughs> You're all here now. Well then, I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix. God dang it, Teddy! If you've lost it now, it's the same as well. Is this is like Teddy's like shadow again or something. Again? It's the same bizarre tournament that was shown on the Midnight Channel. Is Teddy really the one behind me? Teddy, what's say? going on here? We came to look for you and Rise and... Ah, always with the talking, Sensei. It's a big waste of time. Less talk and more fighting. With the next challenger, come on down. You're not Teddy. There's no way Teddy would talk to me like that. I don't know what the fuck you are, but... Uh, Teddy looks looks away and makes a dismissive gesture. Smokes something bursts out from underneath me and robs me of any visibility. Just someone beyond that white curtain. Eventually, my field vision begins to clear. Okay, I keep my guard up, expecting anything. But <laughs> shoot up here, but Yosuke! And for some reason, he's carrying the Persona 3 soundtrack with him. Now, I didn't expect it to run him with his Persona 3 soundtrack. I'm relieved to see that he's safe. But he's just saying about Challenger just a moment. I recall the Pure and Grand Prix that appear on the Midnight Channel look a lot like some kind of fighting competition. Wait, am I supposed to fight Yosuke now? That's not funny at all. Great. They're expecting you and me to fight. <laughs> Looks like. Sheesh, what's Teddy thinking? <laughs> Starting that up already? I won't let you get all buddy-buddy with each other. These battles are fought to the death. Only the victor can proceed. Oh man, what the hell? This joke's gone on far enough, Teddy. We're not going to play along with that. Oh, really? I guess he should declare me the winner then. Yosuke? What? You don't plan on fighting, right? That means I win by default. Oh, but is that okay with you? I mean, since Nanako-chan's here and all? Nanako's here? <laughs> uh? Wait, really? You haven't seen her? She's with Teddy. That can't be. So Nanako back at the house when I left this morning. What the fuck, Teddy? And even then, Nanako can't enter the TV world on her own. But she's in this world? I can't, I can't believe for a moment, but what if it is true? Just coming to this world could, can tire a person out very quickly. Dude, she almost fucking died last game because of that bullshit. Top of that, someone can't, who can't use the persona comes here. It can sometimes be fatal. Where is she? Yosuke, where's Nanako? Oh, what's gotten into you, partner? No need to get hysterical. Why are you so calm about this? You know what happened to her last time she came here. Nanako did come to this world once last year. It was that something any of us would, wanna, have, would have wanted to happen? That was the start of a whole chain of fucking sad... Soul crushing events. Remembering them is heart wrenching even now. And yet, no, even though, even then it might be wrong for me to lash out at Yosuke for the way he's acting. Calm down. I think, think straight here. All Yosuke said was that she, he saw Teddy, saw her with Teddy. It, you are not, you're not Yosuke, are you? You're like some fucked up version of Yosuke. Just like fucked up Teddy and fucked up Rise. Was Nanako brought here by Teddy? And if he's the leader of this, if he's the leader Yosuke, of this be straight with me. Are you sure Nanako is with Teddy? How should I know? If I had to guess, I'd say she's probably still with him. 
Man, are you all right? Are you that worried about Nanako-chan? It's no wonder people look at you funny, thinking you have a sister complex. <laughs> sense of wrongness I've been feeling this whole time is getting even stronger. True, Yosuke makes him say some insensitive things, mostly because he reads too much into a situation and becomes outspoken. So that's how I got to enjoy making her four marks. Yosuke, like are you all right? Huh? What are you talking about? I should be the one saying that to you. She's not even your real sister. All that big bro stuff really creeps me out. Hmm, it was a while ago that I saw her. It's probably too late to save her now. You know how things went last year, after all. Yosuke. He's definitely not the Yosuke I know. Time to fuck him up. <laughs> Yosuke's my friend. He wouldn't see me so callous as that. At least, I thought so until now. He was wanting to face the pain of losing someone he cared about. When the murders first started last year. I can't hate him for accidentally mentioning someone who was dead, but the way he's acting, he's, not, he's doing this He's doing this on purpose. I suddenly draw my sword and face Draw your weapon. You'll get your fight. What? Dude, what are you saying? You told me you let me win by default. Yeah, also, I was thinking that this Yosuke before me was some kind of fake. I wonder if something had happened to him and Yosuke's shadow had appeared again in this world. This wrongness that I kept sensing is nothing like that. It's probably the, this probably is the real Yosuke, what? Search that feels because these words really, are, words really are coming out of the mouth of someone I never thought I would say them. So, I don't know if you're being controlled or if there's something else going on here. Ah, fuck. What the hell? Either way. You must understand the best way to resolve the situation. Is to fuck each other up. There's no way to tell if I'm, what I'm saying is getting through to him at all. But if I want to figure out what's going on, I'll just have to fall for this... I'll just have to fall for this trap Sorry, lines. but I'm gonna go all out. No hard feelings. I'm gonna fuck you up, Yosuke. Huh? All that talk and you're gonna fight against your partner after all? Well, whatever. Let's hurry up and get this started. Ready? Alright, here we go. Versus. Okay. Hopefully. I do alright. Alright. Here we go. Uh, oh, I gotta stretch here. Alright. Uh, uh, all right. Alright. No, just not bounce around like a little bunny. Ah. Ah! Oh shit! No, 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 no! I'm not punching him in the knees. Knee cap look now. Hey, stop that shit! Just get it started. All right. Kidding me? Oh! I got him. Ah! Come on, Yosuke, you know you're the- <laughs> There's no way the hell you're gonna beat me. <laughs> Fucking Nico B, I mean, you Narakami. And I don't give a shit about no bitch in here. <laughs> Amazing, Sensei! Keep that up and zoom on ahead! Did I actually kill him? <laughs> ahead? You're gonna continue with this? Teddy, about Nanako. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the surprise. If you want to find out, you'll have to get to me! And I can't say why, but I think you should hurry! Bad Teddy. Bad evil Teddy. The monitor shuts up, so I don't learn anything about Nanako, but he did seem to have... I'd expect me to ask about her. I don't want to think about it, but Nanako really may be here. The moment the monitor turned off, the students began to leave like waves in the receding tide. No, they didn't like, like students anymore. There's something inhuman, just taking the shape of students. There's two folks on the Pfizer nose, but it seems that their for true forms are coming through. They like silhouettes. Are these shadows? He said, what's the sense of being stilly from them? And well, if they're not a threat and they're going away, there's no need to chase after them. Besides, there's something more important to do right now. Yosuke, are you alright? I gotta dispose of Yosuke's dead body. I guess he's still alive. Just beat the shit out of him with a fucking sword. <laughs> Somehow I managed to knock him unconscious with a fucking, with a fucking katana. Walk towards the where Yosuke like collapsed on the ground and gave him a hand to help him up. Ow! Couldn't you hold back a little? I seriously thought you were gonna kill me. <laughs> Should've talked shit about Nanako. <laughs> the same went for you. I wouldn't have stood a chance if I held back on you. Yosuke grimaces and pans as he stood up, but he didn't seem to be suffered any serious injuries. Oh man, I, I was like, a little bummed, like, why am I, why is my persona Itsunage? Shouldn't it be like Itsunage no, no Akami or, he should, shouldn't uh, Yosuke be like his, 
triple level persona or whatever the hell that was. It's just he's just got drive. What happened to his awesome one? The I don't even remember what it's called anymore. The one that looks like a fucking Super Saiyan with a circle of thing spin around him. It's good. I knew I couldn't risk going easy on him, so I was a little worried that it actually hurt him. <laughs> once we once we got a good look at each other, it's just demeanor suddenly. Anyway, that aside, shut up about the nurses already. It's not like that's the only thing I ever think about. <gasps> What's this about nurses? Oh, so this actually is him? Huh? You were harping on it the whole time. How can you stand there and constantly bash my taste in women with a straight face? <laughs> is it such a crime to like nurses? Wait a second. I understand why he's suddenly angry, but he's not making any sense at all. Oh, so we're both saying things and we both sound like... Alright, so when we're talking, we sound like we're saying something else. I see. Interesting. So, okay, so it actually is both of us. It actually is the real ones of us. Does that mean that's the real Risei and the real Teddy, but they're also look like they're saying other things? So I just gotta calm down. We go over what he thought had happened before the fight. We learned that our memories of what it, each of us have been saying didn't match up at all. According to Yosuke, it seems that I have been, well, teasing him about his taste in women. <laughs> This guy was so heated up over what I supposedly said that he almost went into a graphic detail, but I stopped him before I th <laughs> things went too far. I mean, really, it's best for both of us when we pretend this and it never happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to our conversation after the battle, I've come to realize something. If we've been hearing each other say things neither of us would mean to Gosuke, say them. let me ask you something. Is it true that Nanako is here in this world? She is? This guy's a lot of loss for words. He had no idea what I was talking about. I thought. Yosuke doesn't know anything about Nanako. That's true, then what I heard from Yosuke saying before the fight was something that Yosuke couldn't possibly have said. So it makes me more convinced that I have the right idea. What I heard wasn't about what Yosuke had meant to say. I don't know how, but something else made Yosuke say those words, even if he didn't know he was saying them. That reminds me, Yeti on the screen had said that I need to get to him if I wanted to find out the truth. Does it mean that Teddy had done this to us? <sighs> I guess there's no choice but to keep going. Nanako is good friends with Teddy. I don't want to imagine it happening, but if Teddy wanted to kidnap Nanako, it certainly possibly could have. I want to go home after once and check, check and make sure she's okay, but I have no idea where I am. Even worse, Teddy holds the means of returning to the world, the real world. So no way to out of here unless I have to find Teddy on Taking my own. off? Yeah. Well, be careful. Can't you come with me? Careful, I'm wor worried about you. Do your best. There's just a lot of emotions behind those words. Yes, I know that now that I'm heading... I'm here in the real Yosuke. I take Yosuke's cheer me on in the heart and leave the music room. Today it said that the only winner, oh, only the winner could move on, go on in this tournament. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's probably not a lie. Yosuke understands that as well. That's why he's trusted me to this order all out and let me go without much talk. He's frustrated that he can't help me out. Could just be dumb in conclusions there. After all, Teddy said that that was the rule, but we didn't have any proof either. Well, might as well see what, ha what he meant by that. Stop walking and turn, turn back to oh, Yosuke. Uh, one last thing. About those nurses. Ah, quit it already! Are you out of your mind again? Yosuke turns bright red and rushes toward me, flailing wildly in an attempt to stop me from finishing. <laughs> and. Oh. Ow. <laughs> There's a painful sound, sounding noise that runs into something invisible and slowly slides to the floor. Oh, okay, so we really, really can't go. What is this? Huh. <sighs> There's an invisible wall. Looks like the loser can't leave the room. Looks like there's something force that prevents the loser from leaving the area where the fight took place. Looks like that every time, every time one of these battles happens, there's the winner. There, the winner will get sorted out this way. I that, see how it works cool. now. Thanks. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. <laughs> if Teddy really has kidnapped Nanako, there's no time to lose. Don't use me as your guinea pig. Wait, that's it? Hey. Don't wear yourself out, all right? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Do it. What do you think? <laughs> I, I barely broke a sweat man. last time. I turned away as Yosuke shouts at me. Not to worry, Yosuke. I can make a quick smile before leaving the area for the real time. For real this time. At the moment, I feel a wave of disorientation crashing over me. This I'm surprised this is happening without warning, but it's not a threat. After all, I know this feeling all too well. Oh. Uh-uh. Man, stop doing that! <laughs> stop Welcome calling me that. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Yeah, I know, Margaret. What do you want? <laughs> Would you like to feed some personas? Really? No, you can only get this. You only get this in this game. Now, oh, fuck. I've been leaving the music room, but now I'm sitting in the Velvet Room for some reason. Her greets me with her usual smile. This room truly is mysterious. Why would she summon me like this? Her sees my suspicious expression and speaks up. You know, I'm kind of curious that like 
Right now, we're only seeing really Persona 4 characters. I mean, I'm kind of like waiting, like, or Persona 3, how Persona 3 characters are going to get, like, introduced into this. Things have only just begun, and yet you already seem tired. The misfortune that has befallen you can be thought of as a sort of trial. A trial? I don't know the details behind her words, but I know that she won't answer me if I ask. The Hamptons of the Valve have never revealed anything. <laughs> Those fuckers. It's because they can only watch over the choices their guests make. Margaret's smile broadens when she sees that I don't intend to ask her anything. Indeed. I am an observer on your journey. I would do nothing so thoughtless as to force you to make choices. You do not need such provocations. I already know that you shine brilliantly enough. Fuck yeah, baby. The shine she speaks of. Could be of my ability to use Yes, that is part of your brilliance. Nah, Personas are reading. masks of resolution, strengthened by controlling one's heart. By forming bonds. You understand this well, don't you? Yeah, that's how we all fought up till now. Yes, indeed. But one's heart is intangible. It cannot be seen and cannot be felt. When polished, it releases a strong light unlike anything else. But it can also be clouded by trivial things. Have you ever felt that way? Kinda like when I get that big ball that big ball glowing light and I used it and I chucked it at the final boss. I was like, eh, eh. That's not true. You may be more conscious of that, that fact true. than most, because you hold the power of the wild card. Ah yes, alright. I can, cause I can control multiple personas, which is kind of funny, cause I can only, but only in this this fighting game, it seems I can only use Itsunagi. I was, I was kind of expecting the, the, uh, to use like, I don't know. I thought I'd be summoning multiple personas in fights, but, uh, with with the protagonist at least. Margaret's voice fades away. She answers me. From here on, you will be forced to re-examine the things you know as bonds. How will you face the changes to come, and what choices will you make? I don't know, I'm probably gonna fuck Teddy up, though. Oh. When I open my eyes again, I'm in the school's hallway. I turn around and see the door to the music room close behind me. Is there only some to the bell room in spirit? There's no way for me to figure out what just happened, but I think back on what Margaret told changes, me. Changes, huh? I'm Johnny Young Bush, I don't give a fuck. Even though the people of the Velvet Room avoid saying much, what I what little they do have to say it always has always has meaning. I'm sure that Margaret has some has said some strange things while I've known her. <laughs> and like made out with me that one time, which was awesome. She's never said anything meaningless while on duty. I was assuming that this would be the case now. I may have to keep her words to her heart. In any case, I need to concentrate on this case for now. I'm sure I'll understand the meaning behind what she said when the time comes. I must proceed. This bizarre place looks anything like the Yasugami High I attended. I the building seems strangely familiar as I run through. He appeared on the monitor in the music room. From the look of things, he appeared on to be behind what was happening. But I heard Risei's voice as a school PA system before my fight with Yusuke. If the school works just anything like the real one. I can make a good guess as where we're heading. Risei might are. be the announcement room. But of course, things aren't that easy. This was the walls keep getting in my way wherever I go. Seems that I, some, these walls don't let anybody through, no matter if they won or lost the fight. Every single time I run to one, I'm forced to make another path. It's like my route is already set for I feel me. like I'm being led somewhere. Damn it. I stopped for a moment in the hallway out of the practice building and wondered to myself while I take a look around. Who is, who is, no, where are they trying to lead me? Hey, that moment. You there. You're one of them participants and not their Grand Prix thing, right? Who the fuck is that? I recognize that voice. The voice I don't recognize at all breaks from my reverie. It's not like Persona 3 either. And I instinctively jump back and draw my sword in surprise. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's the big idea? Oh. You could poke someone's eye out swinging that thing around. <laughs> Hello, person with. Wow, you have really red eyes. <laughs> you have a funny. What kind of accent is that? <laughs> Hello. Uh, I turn to see a girl I've never seen before. Is she part of that crowd? And she looks like a real person. Caught by surprise when I suddenly pointed my weapon at her, although she flinches, her words don't lose any of their intensity. How bold of her. It may seem like an odd thing to say, but it's what suddenly crossed my mind. This girl doesn't seem to have any intention of attacking me. She's my sore, but remain conscious. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Sorry ain't gonna cut it. What were you gonna do if you hurt one of the students here, huh? You can't go pulling that stuff without student council approval. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, the jig is up. 
I'm putting the kibosh on this tournament right now. Hey, wait, hold on a second. I'm not in this because I want to be. I'm trying to stop the tournament. Trying to act non-threatening, but the girl continues to glare at me. What in the world is this girl? She's wearing a Yasugami high, high uniform. Oh, yeah, I guess she is. She's talking about the student council, but I don't recognize her. I don't counter people here in this world that often. The person's here, and they're either a Persona user or... Why are or you here, by the way? Shadow. Wait. Did you fall inside a TV? That's right. I might have put it a little differently, but she can't enter a TV herself. It's the only possibility that someone threw her in there. That was what was happening in the murder murders from last year. All inside a TV? What kind of nonsense is that? Ah, okay. So this must be this must be your world then, right? Because that's how it worked when you know whoever gets thrown in the TV initially, it comes their essentially their world. I thought it was because we were all in here, but. I guess it's her world. So, cool. Why didn't I see you last year? <laughs> She's not aware of it. But if she was a Persona user, I don't see why she'd hide that fact. If she was trying to keep that from me, then she wouldn't have come to talk to me like this. And how does it mean she's a victim? Then does that mean she's a victim after all? Carefully choose my words to avoid provoking the girl injuries I'm you, Narukami. I was a second year at Yasugami High until last year. Huh? Last year? But that uniform... Oh, no. This is... Uh... Kind of my usual equipment when I'm in the TV world. <laughs> I just kind of, I feel comfortable wearing this. <laughs> Although you know what, I probably should have been wearing some fucking armor. <laughs> equipment? Uh, never mind. Uh, forget it. Well, if you were only around till last year, I ain't gonna blame you for not knowing. I'm not sure what kind of accent that is. Is that like kind of Cockney, maybe? I'm the new student council president. Nice meeting you. It's kind of weird hearing, I, I think it is? It's kind of weird hearing a girl, usually whenever you hear the Cockney accent, it's always a guy. You know, I never really hear, like, girls do the Cockney. Is that it? I, I don't know. Ozzy, kind of? No, it's not really Ozzy. It's not, and it's not really, definitely not British. The Student Council President. If I'm remembering correctly, the Student Council elections should have taken place just before the holidays. I don't know if you won of any of these elections since I left in it but before they took place. It reminds me, I didn't have any friends in the student council last year either. This girl may very well be the president, nope. No reason not to believe her. Yeah, well... Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we would have met you. I met every character in the game that had a face portrait. <laughs> now it's your turn to spill. You said you ain't in the tournament because you want to be. Then what are you doing here? And what's this tournament about in the first place? I don't explain things very clear to her, it'll only provoke her further. I'm trying to tell her everything about what's going on here will only confuse her. Look at the fact that this place is inside of television, tell her about the other things that are going on. First, I tell her about Teddy, that a friend of mine is likely the one who set this tournament up. Second, that I encountered some of my friends who were dragged into this world as well, but they were acting strangely. And third, that my cousin Nanako, still in elementary school, may have been dragged into this mess. The girl calling herself the student council president seems skeptical while I talk, but eventually she sighs. So if I got this right, you didn't start this. But your friend did. Hmm. Well, you don't seem like you're lying. Seems like she somehow grasped the gist of what I was trying to say. I think her politeness, but she laughs and asks why I'm thinking here. There's still one more difficult task left at hand. I make her understand this is all within another world when accessed by going through a television screen. She still appears to be energetic, but it doesn't change the fact that she's in danger. Still have to get her out of this world, no matter what. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, don't let your shadow... Wait. Right, well, you're not the, well, you're not the shadow. Wait, are you a shadow? Maybe maybe she is a shadow version. But she's not trying to murder me, so, I mean... Usually, I, this goes the other way around. Usually, I run to the shadow first, and then I run to the real person. But, all right, maybe... I, I don't know. Now, ah, fuck, what was that? Oh, where did that sound come from? Hey, that sounded like it came from the gym. Now, ah, fuck. I ought to tell you to go home, but I get that you're worried about your sis. Come on, let's go check it out. So I started running at the same time. I reached my full running speed when something occurs to me. I see this Miss President keeping pace right behind. Sabby, fuck, damn, you got, you got skills. This staying still in this world would be strange for a normal person, but she doesn't even seem to be out of breath. It's quite impressive. <laughs> what are you, bionic or something? I take a moment to quietly praise the girl right next to me. Uh... Grab my, my fighting now. Whoa! Alright, well, that's probably the, the sound was... What the fuck? What 
the fuck do they... <laughs> what are you doing with the chairs? No, that is not how you stack the chairs. Holy fuck. Damn. That's going to take fucking forever to clean. How did you even do that? <laughs> we burst into the gym where all the noise came from, but there's no one here. So we see huge piles of stacked chairs. <laughs> They're twisted and intertwined everywhere on the open floor of the gym, forming huge towers that reach almost to the ceiling. What is this? Who'd go to all this trouble? Yeah, really. <laughs> Spent a lot of time on their hands. The girl stares up at the stairs, seeming dumb seemingly dumbfounded. Something the monitor in the gym flickers to life. Oh, fuck. I'm not fighting you next, am I? And as I expected, Teddy appears again in that costume. Oh, ho, ho, ho. are you on a hot date, Sensei? Of course I am, Teddy. You know what? You know what kind of guy I am. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot you did. Every one of our party members and every one of the girls are out of school. Well, that's fine with me, of course. But shouldn't you keep your mind on the fighting? Whoa. You look so mortified! That's the face I was hoping to see! <laughs> Teddy, quit being a dick. Hey, you! You're the ringleader of this mess, aren't you? What's the idea? Raising a ruckus like this without running it by the student council! <laughs> She's a funny voice, I don't know. <laughs> Pack it in and clean all this up already! She's as fast and clearly as she had when I first met her. Hey, we got balls. You realize uh, there's like fucking monsters and demons and... After clearing a look... Cl uh, getting a clear look at her, I feel like I've come to realize where she gets her courage from. She truly really wishes to protect her school. She's wrong aware of her duties for passing her fear. Teddy the monitor looks annoyed and sneers at Miss Presley. It's incredibly detestable. It's incredibly detestable. I can't believe that Teddy can even make such a malicious What's expression. What's that tiny thing? I'm in the middle of an important conversation with Sensei! And yappy little mutt like you should be muzzled and sit in the corner! Hey, Teddy, be nice. Sit, puppy. You're not your usual horny self. I don't know what you are. There's absolutely no intent of dealing with her seriously. So it turns bright red in humiliation for being brushed off like that. This is enough. I take forward, take a step forward to put myself between the monitor and Mrs. President. Just let it go. Leave this to me. I'll take it from here. It's all right. There's nothing to worry about. President's lips are trembling. She must be angry. There's nothing she can do herself. I don't want to let those feelings continue, so I turn to face a teddy on the monitor. Don't worry. I'm you, Narakami, and we're gonna fuck later. <laughs> that was pretty harsh, Teddy. Hard to believe a womanizer like you would say such things. Huh. What's so attractive about a shameless liar like her? Liar? You know something about her? The way you said that makes it sound as if there's some history between the two of them. Oh! You, you're the shadow, aren't you? That's what it is. That's gotta be it. You're the fucking shadow, aren't you? You must be her shadow. It's usually, he doesn't bother to give any details in his answer. Uh, sensei, your opponent's getting tired of waiting for you. Who the fuck's here? With the next challenger, come on down! Oh, god dang it. After that line, another class smoke rise on the floor. What's time? It's Yuki Go appears! Hey, Yuki Go! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. What's the matter? It's uh, nothing. Are you alright? Has anything odd happened to you? What? No, I don't think so. You guys seems alarmed to see me in a defensive posture. I'm like, oh, fucking balls, you're gonna say something stupid to me. You're so ugly and dumb, and I knew you had sex with those other girls! Now for my fucking payback! You're like, oh, damn it. <laughs> wow, I'm actually not even giving- I'm not even forcing them to fight each other, they're just doing it themselves! Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit, shit! <laughs> I feel my shoulders relax and relief, so I should wait to stand normally. She, it seems she hasn't been affected like Yusuke had. I didn't think it had been, been that tense, though. Now that's the Yuko's, now that's the Yuko I remember. She's sharp as always, exactly when we need her. If she's not being confused, then I can immediately ask for her, for help. Try to explain what I need from her. Nanako might be in here. I'm heading to the announcement room where Teddy is. I need you to protect this girl from me. She might be a victim of all this. I'm much towards Miss Presence staying next to me. Yuko looks in, at me in surprise. I don't blame her, though. What you said next was even more surprising. You're like, ah, oh, fuck, here we go. Why do I have to do that? It's not like I know her or anything. Ah, here we go. I'm not gonna help her because I don't know her? Is that really what she's saying? I understand she might be cautious with meeting someone for the first time, but Yuko would, would really, Yuko really think that way? No, this is evil, Yuko. It's going to be the same as, it's gotta be the same with Yosuke. That same uncanny sense of wrongness is coming back to me when I hear Yukiko. Yuko. Not you too. Calm down and listen to me. 
Can you understand what I'm saying? Huh? What are you saying all of a sudden? I can hear you clearly. What did you mean by you two? This is probably a trick the enemy is playing on us. They're trying to get us to fight each other. I'll say it one more time, Yukiko. I'd like you to protect this girl for me. Sorry, but um, I don't know how to put this. It just feels like you're being really selfish. You always help people who have nothing to do with you, and I admire that. But where does that leave us? It's always your friends who get put in danger because of your self-centeredness. You hear her voice, but her words are scathing. Ow! Ow! God, it's Valentine's Day all over again! Convinced now. There's no obvious change in her attitude like there have been with Yosuke, but something must be warping Yukio's words too. Her words may seem like a sound argument, but she means something else. I don't care if someone who isn't related to me gets hurt. That's definitely not something Yukio would say. Really, Yukio would never see something disrespects the value of life that way. I don't have to fuck her up now. <laughs> don't be deluded. Whatever happened to Yosuke has happened to Yukio too. I'm seeing the details, but Yukio hasn't had a complete change of heart. Yukio. What the? Yukio? Haha, <laughs> you're calling me Yukio. <laughs> I draw my suit, Miss Sora, Miss Pre Miss President quickly tries to stop me. I can't answer her right now. The battle will the battle will clear this up this pointless misunderstanding between us, and the kind of fight is now. Ooh, now that's our senpai. You'll show no mercy, not even to a girl if it's for your own goals. That's right. I'm doing this for Horny's Horniness sake. You're a real bastard with a sister complex. Keep it up and bring them all down. Shut up, Reese. <laughs> Gonna make babies later. And where the nor the towns are being delivered in Risei's voice, even if our words aren't getting through to each other, we have to fight without understanding what's going on. We'll come to an understanding later. I have to believe. Both myself and my friends. I want to order the side to protect Miss President who is staying behind me. Sorry, but you need to stay back. Whatever you see here, try to stay calm. Promise me you won't run away. <laughs> you should just get a bat bat to get bananas, you might freak out. <laughs> Perhaps next, we'll probably surprise her great greatly, but I doubt Miss President will run away. She's already showed me how strong her determination is. I at her over my shoulder, although she looks worried, she still gives me a slight nod of agreement. Now it's time to do this. I'm a sinner. Persona! Is popular. Pop, pop, that, yeah, pop, yeah. Possible. Crowns through all my senses, so my strength, my heart, my persona, it's an <laughs> You know, one of my eight million ones. If I allow myself to go easy on you, Kyoshi, will just surely defeat me. You have smiles faintly and takes her battle stance. Resisting the idea of protecting Miss President, but she seems to have no qualms whatsoever about fighting me. There's something else controlling. Come, Konohana Sakuya. Ah, Konohana Badabadi. He has black air forms, graceful air arcs in the air as the persona of Konohana Sakuya rises behind her. That's right. The usual Yuko should have a beautiful heart like this. Wait for me. I will save him. <laughs> Must murder more things. I was watching Space Dandy the other day, and a character came on. He had Johnny Young Posh's voice, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> It's like, is there any place Johnny on Bach doesn't appear? I'm serious. Like, every anime, he's like in every anime ever. Ever! Just just watch anything, and he'll and he'll show up eventually. Alright, let's go. Ah. ah, no, don't do that. <laughs> like, this game has a lot of attacks, too. That's what that was. Ow. Get him! Shit. Don't. No, 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 ow! Okay. Zaya Doodle. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Woo! <laughs> I'm dead already! Stop killing me! Oh my god, alright. There's just one round each. Sorry, Eko. My bad. We still hook up after this, right? Right. The winner is you, Senpai! <laughs> what an utter thrashing! God, you're acting more like Catherine than you recently. <laughs> I love all this animosity! Self-righteous friends showing how they really feel by beating the crap out of each other. You are totally a shadow. That's You're probably the real her shadow. Of a I'm not sure why you look free. like that. I'm not sure why you look like Teddy. Here are any more of Teddy's jests. I still have reservations about fighting against my friends, but I now know that there's no other way to save them. I'm resolved to do what must be done. I must do the thing that needs to be done. Also, there's 
No knowing if Teddy and Brisa have been affected just like Yosuke and Yukio had. If they are, then there's no use in trying to talk to them through the monitor like this. That's the conclusion I've come to, but Miss President seems to have other ideas. How much further are you gonna push this? Why are you doing it anyway? These guys are friends! What's so much fun about making friends fight each other? Miss President invents her frustration at Teddy's image on the monitor. I was a bit surprised how but I was a bit surprised at how she worded it. She seemed more upset that he was making friends fight each other. Now why he had dragged the entire school in this mess. We really just met, but she clearly sympathizes with us and understands the pain we're going through. Yeah. How'd you know that we knew each other? <laughs> I'm embarrassed but proud at the same time. A girl with such compassion would be a great student council president. It's no wonder she was elected to represent the student body of Yasukami High. It's alright. Thanks, though. It's not alright! This is... She worked up and she lashes out at me. Ah! <laughs> Perhaps her heart is a little too honest. But her anger sets my mind at ease. Can't see this... <laughs> this guy is just chill about everything. He's just like... He just rolls with whatever goes on. He's like, she's really pissed at me, but... It's all right. It puts my mind to ease, you know. <laughs> like, I know Teddy's acting like a little psycho, but it's all right. Cause you know what? <laughs> I think I'm learning something about all this. <laughs> you know, just I don't know. He's just he's so mellow. I don't I don't know how wait, was he like this in the anime? Um, like just really really mellow. <laughs> She's right. What General Teddy's doing right now cannot be forgiven. I glare at the monitor. I'm like, Barrr. sorry, but you're not getting your wish. What? <laughs> oh? Did you think this would be all it took to break us apart? That it would make us hate each other? Sorry to say, but that's a huge mistake on your part. I believe in my friends. They'll never get taken in like that. You're so stupid! What kind of sensei are you? <laughs> the kind of badass sensei doesn't give a fuck about it. I'm anything. warning you now. If you really are Teddy, then we'll get you back to normal no matter what it takes. Even if it costs us our lives. But if you're an imposter hiding behind Teddy's face, I will make you pay for toying with us. Oh, fuck. I will make you pay for toying with me, Johnny Young Bosch. <laughs> You'll fuck with Johnny Young Bosch. Teddy scoffs and turns around. Monitor suddenly, suddenly switches off. So they're turning on us without any sign of remorse. That's not like Teddy at all. No, he's most likely not the real Teddy. Seeing the anger in his face only strengthens my suspicions. So I'm out. Someone must be taking Teddy's form to make it look like she's. He's the one committing these acts. Uh, um, that girl's come around. Yeah, it's okay. It's, I'm totally digging it's your shadow, although I don't know about Rise. I'm real sure to you, you sad. Sorry, I know I had to cut you into pieces, but we're cool, rat. Are you alright? Sorry. Yukiko, are you alright? I'm sorry I couldn't go easy on you. <laughs> I just said both of them. I get the feeling these choices don't really make that big a difference. No, it's okay. You weren't your usual self, but I could tell by your eyes that there was something going on. I'm sorry, too. Did I hurt you? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> I sure wouldn't want to get into it with you again. <laughs> she smacked me with her fan. Try to pass it off as a joke. We looked at each other and laughed. Things are going the same way as they had with Yosuke. It's coming quick hey, now. Did I say things that offended you earlier? Um, yes. You did. The head says as if remembering... Even remembering it is a difficult experience. You said you had all sex with all these different girls. And that I... <laughs> that I wasn't your true love. You told me in great detail how you fuck Naruto. Oh. No, yeah, that's, uh... Totally... Totally not true. Totally... I gotta go. The world of my illusion satyr. There's something horrible. Wh whoever's doing this will certainly find the most annoying way of getting us to fight. But am I, what am I supposed to... What am I supposed to... What I supposedly said to her doesn't matter. He was still hesitant to bring it up, so I told him not to worry about it. I don't about. need to know what I said. I just wanted to see if my guess was right. It looks like our enemy has the power to confuse our senses. My first opponent was Yosuke, and he told me a similar story after we fought. Huh? You said something bad to Yosuke-kun too? What did you tell him? <laughs> you sure you want to know? <laughs> I'm only, only one admitting to what happened. That's not fair, is it? Uh, that curiosity is in line with the UK, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've had the issue with a smile and call it Miss President who's sitting behind us. Hey! What kind of people are you? <laughs> we got superpowers, you know. Just a stuff thing. It's kind of what we do. Hmm? Oh, right. We used our personas. Yeah, we should at least explain to her what's going on. Uh, if she did everything that I had just, had just happened, this would be a good opportunity to tell her everything. 
Uh, she did see her the other time. Um, I introduced Miss President and Yukio to each other and fill in the parts that I left out of my previous explanation. I tell her about the personas. I tell her they were actually in a world inside the television. And I tell her how the scenery here changes according to the hearts of the people who enter it. She looks doubtful while I'm talking, but considering that she's just seen our persona only moments ago, she doesn't immediately deny it. Still, it seems that she can't accept it all either. She crosses her arms as if lost in thought. On the other hand, it seems that Yukiko didn't know that Asagami Hi had a new student council president either. Huh. Okay, so she doesn't know her either? I thought maybe someone she maybe showed up after the... I left or whatever. He apologize for not having paid attention to the elections in April. Oh, well. And that's it in a nutshell. So, that's what you meant by falling into a TV. Yeah, which makes me believe this school could be a part of your mind that's materialized. Yeah. The school came from me? That's a lot to swallow. I'm not surprised. Why is it different this time around, though? Usually the victim's shadow appears first. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. That's right, I had doubt about that doubts about that, too. She reason why it's dangerous for people who can't use their personas to enter this world. Besides the obvious reason, such as not being able to escape and being able to protect themselves from shadows, a person's shadow separates from them. Shadows that split off are strongly attached to the original people they came from and will try to harm them, but to, to try to become independent identities. Can we at least tell them in this game? I th Come on, we've done it so many fucking times. We end up running to her shadow and be like, Don't say y that's not you. <laughs> Don't do it. I hadn't given it much thought since Miss President seems so energetic, but it's still possible this happened to her as well. Put this together with the conversation I had with Teddy a moment ago and come to the conclusion. Teddy who's hosting this tournament. What if he's actually yes. this girl's shadow? Yes, you're on that shit. On that shit. Uh, you. Huh? I noticed he got agitated when I called him an imposter. A fake Teddy would mean he's someone else using Teddy's form. Uh. You see, if this place reflects Miss President's heart, her shadow must be here. And right now, the strongest candidate is... That's right. If we both saw, if we both saw an illusion, then at the very least, the enemy has the power to delude our senses and make us see here and hear things that aren't there. On top of that, it can alter what others hear us say and what see us do. If it can do that, then I can easily see that our enemy can use that power to change its appearance. Yeah, okay. Then it, that means it could be the impersonating Teddy and leading this tournament. It still leaves the question as to why it would take on the appearance of someone it doesn't know. Yeah, not sure why I picked Teddy. I've seen shadows in the past that took on bizarre appearances, but this is the first time I've seen one impersonate an existing person. Does the shadow have some kind of object objective? Yeah, usually it's supposed to look like her, you know, like the, like the actual person. Just kind of slutty and horny, usually. <laughs> when I come to my senses, I see that Miss President has turned pale and staring down at the ground. Let's talk of shadows in another world, another, and another world doesn't seem to be reaching her, but she seems troubled at the thought she might be causing all this trouble. About to tell that the actions of her shadow aren't her fault, but Miss President rises to her feet. I'm gonna check out the announcement room. Hmm? That General Teddy's behind the whole shebang, right? And if he came from me... Shebang. Then I gotta own up to the responsibility. A student body president, I can't let this go. Damn. Well, uh, wait, you're being reckless. We'll take care of the shadow. You need to... <laughs> Realize we're in another world. We got superpowers. And this isn't your school. <laughs> what? Get out of this TV world? And how am I supposed to do that? Go on. Show me the door. Well... <laughs> uh, I haven't found it yet. Her eyes are filled with the fire... Fire's determination, just as they, they had been when I first met her. Her sense of responsibility and awareness of her duty say that she will never back down. Your cousin's in the announcement room. And you're gonna go save her, right? I might not be as strong as the two of you. But I'm no slouch in a fight. Wouldn't it be better if we went together? No. Don't you understand? This world is... I know it's dangerous. But there's gotta be something only I can do to help. Dangly, I think we can only, uh, really get her out of here once she's faced her shadow, right? Right? I, I don't know. We never seem to be able to do it any other way. Hell, that aside, I can't leave after causing so much trouble. Making friends fight each other. I'm going on ahead. You don't want to waste time arguing, yeah? Miss President declare, declares this in a voice that, bro that brooks no argument and takes off running. Yikes, I wasn't expecting her to behave rashly like this. I remember how fast she can run. I'm gonna go after her. I need to go at once or I'll Please, lose Please, you have to go after her. Who sees me hesitating knows exactly what to say. God dang it, she's right. So much we understand, but there's no way the investigation team can let a victim run off to die. The girl ignores the fact that I've been le leaving her alone and tells me to follow a girl whom she only just met. It's the exact opposite of the behavior she's been displaying before the fight. Now this is the fucking Yuko Magi I know and love and make babies with. 
She had that even slightly let myself be confused by the by the way I had heard her speak before, and I answer her. I'll come back for you no matter what. Mm -hmm. I believe in you. We're gonna make babies after this, trust me. More babies than you could possibly imagine. You can announce me in a turn and begin running as fast as I can. Draw on the faint echoes of her footsteps ahead to pursue Miss President through the school throughout the school. He can't use my members of the school in order to navigate because the invisible walls are everywhere, but the announcement room is upstairs. That obviously limits the path that she can take. We'll catch up to her with, no ma with her no matter what. Yeah. Oh my god, she's fucking fast. <laughs> the ring had wrist present for a while, but I still can't catch the sight of her. She's so fast, almost supernatural. I even began to think that she that her path may not be hindered by the invisible walls. Wait a second. I think about it, she's not a participant in the Grand P1 Grand P pre. She didn't appear in the introduction, and even though she'd been there when I faced off you with Yukio, she wasn't affected by the rules. Oh. You should be able to walk through these walls? Oh, well then that's gonna make this kind of more difficult. Yeah, I feel like I've been in the same hallway for like <laughs> three hours. In any case, I need to keep chasing after Miss President. And now I'm at least a recognizable feature, her long ponytail. Hey, I found her! Wait! It's too dangerous to go alone. Take this! <laughs> I mean, uh, me. Miss President turns around and responds to my voice. She's smiling, I wasn't expecting that at all. Calling me impressed that you managed to catch up to me so quick. This calmness. She expected that I would follow her? I'm gonna feel like she's toying with me. I understand now. I think Sator will change her mind. Just Promise me that you won't leave my side. And you can't do anything rash. If you can't agree to those terms, I'll have to force you into protective custody. This is a matter of life and death for you. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I would do that. No? Sure thing. Then let's get to that announcement room together. I thought I'd be able to check, keep her in check by saying that her life was in danger, but she didn't seem to take any notice. She just shrugged and accepted my proposal. Damn. Why haven't I had sex? He's like, damn it, why haven't I had sex with you yet? She's quite hard to deal with. I'm not sure if she knows how I'm feeling, but hey, she speaks up. Mind if I ask you something? What is it? It's a moment of silence. Just something about to ask. Ask her to go on, Miss Prison continues. It's tough being forced to fight your friends, huh? <sighs> uh, oh, sorry. You don't gotta answer. She must still be thinking about my fight with you, Kiko. Sure, I'm slightly hesitant to talk about any of this, but it's a question that must be answered. No, you're right. If I could avoid it, I would. But I believe in my friends. You mean your friends won't hate you after the fight? Or you think they'll understand that you don't really want to fight? I don't know. Both, maybe. I mean, there's no way we'd fight each other without some kind of reason. Ah. Uh. Does she believe that answer? Stay in Miss President's face. When she opens her mouth, she has an unexpected gloom, unexpectedly gloomy look at What if eyes. you had to kill each other? Kill each other. I truly really hadn't anticipated that question. I'm caught off guard by how I hadn't even considered it. It's true, there's no guarantee this General Teddy won't suddenly decide to make his fight to the death on a whim. Uh, didn't he say that before? But we're kind of like just not doing it. <laughs> huh. Sorry, that was probably over the line. I don't know why I said that. Okay, that's totally your thing. That's why we're doing it, probably, right? But, uh, what would she have to deal with that would make that would cause that? I wouldn't let it happen. If I was forced into such a situation, I would never follow that order. That's all I can say right now. But after hearing my answer, Miss President cast her eyes down again. After seeing that behavior, I... How do I put this? Feel a sense of incongruity. What could that be? Something doesn't feel like her. Could Miss President be carrying some unimaginable burden that she's yet to confide in us? Yes. It's so heavy that she would ask us that question, question to me? Speaking of which, if General Teddy does turn out to be your shadow, what does that mean that, about whatever repressed thoughts she truly has? So it seems that her courageous and cheerful demeanor are a mere image of that, and a slight sense of fear chills my spine. All the way down to my balls. My thoughts race through my head while we walk down the hallway. Ah! Oh! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I thought I broke my nose for a moment. It's an invisible wall again. Fuck! Even though I should have been expecting them, I relaxed my guard and walked right into one. I held my nose and waved Miss President. Wave away Miss President, who looks concerned. <sighs> There's an invisible wall. I don't think I can go through here. An invisible wall? Oh, that must have been why you broke out of the Mime Act every now and then. Nah. Well, if I can pass through, it must only be blocking the tournament fighters. This world sure is out there. Miss President walks through the place I had bumped into. So that must be the case. I imagine Miss President is unaffected by these walls. It's because she's not one of the fighters in the Grand Prix? Of course, if General Terry really is her shadow, maybe the real rules don't apply to her. 
Hey, we're at the locker rooms. Oh. <laughs> Is your snout okay, Sensei? Jeez, you're such a glut. Fuck you, Evil Daddy. You're still using that form? It's getting old. Why don't you just show your true self? Boy, you got peevish. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Okay. So who's my next opponent? Woo! Now you're getting into the spirit of things. Let me guess. You're starting to enjoy beating up your friends. <laughs> okay. With the next challenger, come on down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The Daryl doesn't pick up on my attention. Loudly yells out what appears to be this pre battle catchphrase. Smoke pours out. Who should appear from the smoke but the person I was expecting to see? For a century, the TV together. I've already fought against Yosuke and Yukiko. Then. Hey, she! That's what I thought. You're the last of us, after all. <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling you'd be next, too. Chie, you know what they're doing, right? I've already been explained. Chie cuts yeah, me off. I know. The stuff we say gets twisted around so we end up fighting each other, right? Don't worry. You're the son of a bitch who left us as soon as the last case ended, but you're still our good friend. I mean, you have it easy. You're just biting your friends. I have to keep killing over and over, all because of you humans! Ah. More stuff about killing, huh? Miss President was talking about it earlier, too. This must be. It hurts. You a taste of the pain they put me through! What in the fuck? Uh, wow. <laughs> it's it's hard being student council president. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, uh, I'm uh, getting the feeling this is, I don't know. She's not, she not, I don't think she's, she can't be student council president, right? This is her fucking darkness. Let's do this, chick. of the P1 Grand Prix already. Word on the street is that the carnivore may have a slight advantage. Will you, Senpai, all talk and no skill, manage to eke out a win this time? Shut up, you know I got skill. Let's like you were saying last night. Oh! Road. Ready? Kick some ass as you know Kami, cause he doesn't give a fucking shit. Err, me angry, me smash. All right, let's do this. Finally. Fight. <laughs> 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 Oh, ow. Uh, nice what? Uh, uh, hack it. What you gonna do? 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 What you Sorry, this was my third time having to do this. I feel like I'm getting pretty good at not having to seriously wound people and fight. Wipe that smug look off your face. This isn't fun at all. I don't really seem to fight ended without any injuries. The spit, spit is worse than the monitor. I don't know how we keep doing that, but man, I'm really good at cutting people without cutting them. The image of the monitor then disappears without anything, fur anything further. What, I got like a reverse blade sword or something? <laughs> Let me say whatever he wants. But all the friends that came into the TV with with and none of them are hurt. All that's left is head to the announcement room, make sure Nanako's safe. And we'll be able to go home. I haven't seen any for Persona 3. I, uh, okay, well. Uh, walk over to Chie and help her off the ground. She's come back to see her, to her senses and she seems a little sheepish. Are you alright? <laughs> Man, you suck. I think so. Man, you're strong. I'm kind of shocked at how much of a difference there is between us. <laughs> I'm shocked too. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the others are safe too? Oh, what a relief. I was pretty worried. Dude, who the hell have you guys been fighting this whole time? You know, this is the third round for you, right? You guys really are tight, aren't you? Makes me jealous. Well, we did spend a whole lot of time together last year because of that case. 
Sure, I was surprised to hear such weird stuff coming from him, but I know he'd never say any of that to me. Wait a sec. Who are you? N oh, I forgot about that. Who introduced Miss President and Chie that she may be a victim of this case, but she looks at Miss President suspiciously. Huh? The student council president? Y you mean ours? That doesn't seem right. I remember the new president being a guy. What are you saying? I'm the student council president. Who else would I be? Ah, okay. We, we don't... What are you? <laughs> You're something else, aren't you? Mm, I'm pretty sure, though. Maybe if you told me your name, I'd remember. My name... Uh-oh. Yep. Oh, no. Amnesia! <clears throat> Miss President stops moving. What's going on? Where's running, running Mushriga? He would know the truth. She can't tell us her name. It's not a strange question, is it? For some reason, Miss President seems unable to answer. I sense some kind of incoherent melancholy from her. She and I share a tense glance. I... My name's... What's wrong? My... My Maurice. No. I don't want to fight anymore. Why do we have to kill one another? Ah! ah! Holy oh! fuck! What the fuck? Without warning, Miss President's arms again flying as if she's trying to ward off demons that she can only see. And she fucking kicked our ass. Ow! Jeez. Reaches out and touches her in concern. Miss President's arm catches you and she easily knocks her aside. <laughs> Damn it, we're trying to help! Stop murdering us! Chie. With power, I barely managed to catch Chia before she slams into the concrete wall. Still a sudden breakdown. What in the world's happened to Miss President? Chill down! Chill out! Once I've helped Chia back to your feet, we carefully approach her from both sides. This will be a little rough, but it can't be helped. I ask her. Can I ask her anything while she's like this? At the moment. What? No way! Before I know, Miss President is flying through the air. Ah! She was jumping. I can't, I can't comprehend what I'm seeing. This is no ordinary leap. Oh my god, are you actually bionic? <laughs> she was at a standstill, but now her entire body is suddenly higher than my head. Her jumping ability is unbelievable. Holy fuck. She had to look up in astonishment. Miss President kicks off the e-ceiling to change directions and lands at a full run. Wow. Who is that girl? <laughs> Damn, she got moves. Did I say something to offend her? She did mention something about her memories. Come to think of it, her memories did seem a little muddled. Maybe she was on the verge of getting them back. What kind of memory would make her go nuts and run away like that? I'll wait here. Make sure you rescue her, okay? All right. The voice is strong, confident, drive the point home. She pokes my chest with her finger as if ordering me, and then we make out for a little bit. It had sex under the lockers, and then I was like, all right, all right, I think I'm ready to go now. <laughs> but it's been three hours. Uh, you think you're still okay? I don't know. I don't really care about this point. Hey, you want to go again? <laughs> Even though she might be in danger herself, she's still worrying about others. My friends are like that. My friends are fucking awesome. It makes me really happy right now. I asked you if she'll be all right on her own. She fires back. Let me worry about that. I heard her being, ru being rushing at Miss President once more. I was like, Durr! that will save her no matter what. Go Johnny, young Bosch, go Johnny. 